Hello YouTube, it's GTZ Renick here. I got some bad news. My red can am outlander. Oh my. A couple hours ago I rolled it down here on our strip job. Going down here to see the damage now. I got a massive scar. I didn't have to go to the doctor or anything. Nothing's broken, but I got a big scar. And Oh my gosh, I pulled, my dad thinks I pulled a tendon in my right leg because, oh, I can barely walk now, but I want to go see the damage because whenever I went around that turn, front tire caught a ditch and just took over. I closed my eyes, I opened up my eyes again, and oh, four-wheeler was on top of me, rolled it over off of me. Walked all the way home, and that was pretty much it. All those coolers and stuff I had on there was pretty well thrown everywhere. Come down here to see some damage and stuff, because I'm not sure what kind of damage there is to it, since it was laying on top of me, and I just crawled out from under it and went home, so going out here to see the damage of it. Oh, I hurt so bad. Yeah, I'm an idiot. As you can probably, yeah, can't see. It's out there, it was on its side, but my dad came down and we um, flipped it back over because it's fuel injected. We didn't need all of the uh, oil running in, all of the gas and oil. Running into the motor on what was on its side. And I busted the key completely in half. So we can't start it. Gonna have to get a brand new key. Almost there. Oh, I'm glad Grandpa mowed the strip job. Ouch. Yeah, I came down around the uh, path up there, down there, and I went to turn, caught a hole, pothole in the ground, giant ditch. That was it. It happened before my dad did it a couple years ago on his four-wheeler. Twisted his foot all the way backwards. I didn't bring my inhaler, I'm an idiot. I just wanted to come down here and see the damage. And I wanted to take some pictures and make a YouTube video to just tell you guys to watch your speed and be careful on dirt bikes, side to side, ATV, whatever you guys ride. Just be careful for me because I know how it feels. This is probably the, I haven't rolled this four-wheeler since I got it two years ago. Still a little bit shaken up, but I'm okay. Come on, it's right there. Ouch. I don't care, I'm going right through our food plot. Don't hurt much. Okay, let's get out here and see. Oh. Okay, so what happened? I came down from there, came around down here, about right here. This ditch is where it started. I got in there. Ditch goes all the way to there. There's one of my bungee cords I lost. You see the tire tracks there. I lost it. And then right there I rolled it. Oh my gosh. Guys, that was scary. This cooler here, what we use for our snakes. It's laying right out there. And the lid was separated from it. There's a roll of electric tape I had. Gosh. 
Oh my gosh, it doesn't appear to be very much damage to it. That key, like I said, snapped completely off. Let me take off the this one. So I can see if anything else. So whenever I opened my eyes, I was laying right in there, right in this area. Four-wheeler was on top of me. Oh my. Yay. Nothing's damaged. I just got done moving my like CB antenna. Move the CB. Shit, I oh I wish I could have wish I had the key. Oh my gosh, the handlebars. The plastic coating coming off. Oh my gosh, dang it. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Be safe on your ATVs, please, for me. GT's your redneck out.